this video we are going to look at purchasing a car on finance and we're going to determine how much we're paying in the total cost of repayments, how much the car will cost if we use a finance package and what amount of interest we ultimately pay if we use the finance package. Okay, for starters, when you're dealing with these types of questions, it's always a good idea to underline the key information. Underline the key information and make sure you know what every number is associated with. So we know that the total cost of the vehicle is going to be $42,000. We know that the finance is available if we put a $7,500 deposit down. And we know that the monthly repayments are going to be $1,280 for a period of five years. So the first question is, what is the total cost of the repayments? And if you watched my previous video, you would realize that the total cost of uh, repayments, or the total repayments, was equal to the number of repayments times the cost of each repayment. Now we've been given the amount that's going to cost us per month, but we've only been given a time period of five years. So we need to convert five years into months. And we can do this by recognizing that there are 12 months in each year. So five times 12 will get us our number of months. And then we multiply that into our number, our the cost of each repayment. So let's have a look at that. So our total repayment on this car is going to be equal to, well, it's going to be equal to uh, 5 years multiplied by 12, and then that will give us the amount of months, and then multiplied again by $1,280 per month. So 5 times 12 times 1, 2, 8 is 1. One, two, eight, zero. Seventy-six thousand eight hundred dollars. So Seventy-six thousand eight hundred dollars is how much we will pay in uh, repayments if we sign up for this package. But that isn't the total cost, which we're going to work out next. Okay, so part B. Part B asks us to find the uh, the car cost if we use the how much the car will cost us if we use the finance package. And you might think that's the total repayment, but it's not, because the total cost is going to be equal to our deposit plus the total repayment. Okay, so our deposit was 7,500, so this is going to be equal to 7,500 plus $76,800 plus $7,500, $151,800, $151 and $800. So that's the total cost it will of uh, signing up for this. Oh, that's definitely wrong. That is definitely wrong. What has happened? Ah, we did 750,000. So that's that's not great. Uh, okay, let's fix that. And let's do 7,500 plus 76,800. $84,300. $84,300. So just from that, it's qu always good to just quickly look at the number you put down and decide if that seems realistic or not. I had a quick look and I think that was not right. So that's always a good tip, especially when you have this calculator emulator, which is always double tapping keys. Uh, what is the interest paid? So the interest is going to be equal to our total cost minus the sale price. And that makes sense because 
well, how much interest we pay as a as a com as an interest component is going to be the difference between what we ended up paying and what we could have bought it for outright if we had the money. So that's going to be equal to eighty four thousand three hundred dollars minus forty two thousand dollars minus forty two thousand dollars. $42,300. $42,300. So our interest cost on buying this car is more than the cost of the car itself. Uh, and that should serve as a kind of a, a warning, I suppose, that if you sign up to something involving uh, finance, just make sure you know how much you're going to be paying. Alright, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.